Hi, uh, this is a Mitsubishi, uh, the PUI uh, ZM24 JAG R32 model uh, uh, unit, ducted type. So today I will I will going to explain this model how to change the the thermostat sensor uh, because this unit by default uh, from the factory it is activated the the return sensor. I mean the return sensor from the behind the the, the filter. So uh, we can activate to the thermostat side also. So how to do how to activate this uh, thermostat sensor? I will explain you. So for that one first, uh, you can see now this unit is off position. So you can see the symbol. This is the the, the indoor unit symbol, which means currently the sensor is active in the indoor indoor. So we need to change the sensor. Once we activate that uh, thermostat sensor it will change the symbol the, the thermostat symbol it will appear here you know thermostat sensor act actually here if it's in the wall there is a air it will go there there's a behind there is a sensor here you can see there is a the blue color this is the one so first off the unit then go to the menu then go to the right side here come to the service enter the service here it will ask the password here you have to put it double nine double nine sorry double nine again nine so once you hit set double nine double nine then press this enter button then then come to here the down settings here self enter the function setting here the refrigerant address zero by default factory it is zero but in case in the site if you are changing the any any other number 0 1 2 then you have to set the that refrigerant address but if you know if there is no uh, nobody change the refrigerant address then keep the same as it is 0 and the unit number keep it 0 i mean the grp i mean group so refrigerant address keep the 0 and unit number keep it same grp then enter wait for a few seconds then here the mode the mode too so uh, whenever in the site you know this is the manual uh, it will come together with the machine whenever so one for the installation manual another operation manual so you have to these things you have to check it in the installation manual installation manual there is a page number 23 that may be uh, model to model the page number way changes here you can see this is the table for the indoor temperature detection so to activate this one remote controller controller internal sensor so that one mode 2 number uh, setting 3 so mode 2 setting 3 you have to select it to activate the that function so come to here mode 2 and setting 3 by selecting this then once you set mode mode 2 and setting 3 then enter okay there is many other mode uh, for the different functions uh, so don't do anything but, uh, if you don't know uh, what is the function for that one. so this video i'm explaining only for the to activate the sensor so i ch okay we have mode 2 to number 3 to activate so if you want to if you want to deactivate keep it mode 2 number 1 to cancel the thermostat sensor so it will be uh, work in the uh, indoor sensor yeah. so uh, currently i am activating so once you made that one then press this uh, uh, the enter button then go back again this is back so once you press this back button you have to wait little seconds to load the function So this may take and take few seconds. Yeah, finish. 
so it's came now then again go back back again okay this is the normal screen we'll switch on the ac now you can see the symbol it changed this is currently the thermostat symbol which means this currently this unit will work based on this sensor fcu i mean the thermostat sensor okay yeah this is how so uh, whenever installation unit installation time this two manual it will come operation manual and for the installation manual try to keep it uh, for your record so in the future anything it will be helpful really